Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy, and this is a standalone or standout product review. This is my first snooze review, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out, but hopefully it'll go okay and it will be uploaded. So, I do not take requests unless I ask for them. But there are a small number of gentlemen here that have been with me since the very beginning. And if they put forth that they're interested in information on something, I do play with the idea of reviewing it. And that is why I am doing a snooze review. It is going to go under standalone products because although I plan this next month to start doing American market snooze reviews, uh, this is not an American market product. It is also standalone because of the nicotine amount in it. So as you saw, it will be of the Siberia Blue, or its actual real name is Ice Cold Power, but uh, let's just call it Siberia Blue for simplicity's sake. So let's take a look at the packaging. It's an all-plastic can as most European snooze cans are. All right, it is comparable with a dip can. Slightly larger, wider, but very close. This will have a catch lid for used portions since you don't have to spit. Now, I may spit with this. I, I may very well, depending what what's going on once it gets in the mouth. But normally with a snooze product, you do not have to spit. So it has a catch lid. Uh, imagine sort of, think of a um, an ashtray for dip pouches, sort of. This is also why the Pinkerton products like Timberwolf have catch lids on their their cans because Timberwolf is by Pinkerton and Pinkerton is owned by Swedish Match. And Swedish Match is one of the main snooze manufacturers in the world. So it just pops off. So the lid sort of goes that way around. On the side, you have the barcode branding. I'm guessing that is a bear screaming. Uh, portion white. More branding, another bear. The warning label and most of the information on the back is in Swedish. So I'll just run through some basics here. It is a product of GN Tobacco, all right? which is, I, I believe it is the makers of, yeah, it's makers of Odin Snus. Uh, they have a BAST before date, or BAST 4, uh, which is 10, 11, 19, and then they have what I'm guessing is a made on date, which is 10, 11, 2018 and they have this down to the minute on 10 11 2018 it was made at 2 45 don't know if it's a.m. or p.m. and it is best before 10 11 2019 at 2 46 that's sort of impressive uh, there is also, and I do not know, I'm not going to attempt to read it, but uh, there is an ingredients list, all right? Uh, number one is tobacco. Uh, number two is, I'm guessing, water. Three is, I'm guessing, it, it's some sort of salt. I'm not, I'm not quite, it, it's not, there's something before the salt, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, so... This is the type of stuff that I would love to see on American dip products. 
like an ingredients list on the back, what's in it, you know, stuff like that. And that was what, in theory, putting American dip products under the FDA was about. I mean, that that's what it should be about. Of course, that's not what it's going to be about. It's going to be about how the government can tax the tobacco even more and regulate it even more to propagate the government having something to do and also bringing in more money. It's That's what it's going to turn into, or already has. But in an ideal world, and I'm not suggesting that the Swedish government is ideal in any means, it's pretty pink, but in an ideal world, the FDA would regulate our dip products so that we had ingredients information on the back, a higher standard of made on and used by dates, you know, stuff like that. Now, it has just occurred to me that although I am pretty sure that GN is of Sweden, it has occurred to me that there's an outside chance it is of Denmark. So, I haven't even gotten into this package yet, and we've just passed the six minute mark, and now I'm telling you. It's from somewhere in Northern Europe. I like the packaging. Uh, it is very Soviet-esque, uh, which a lot of people viewing this probably weren't even alive when the Soviet Union was around. Uh, I personally do remember the later years of the Cold War. So I'm gonna crack this open. Oh. It's a nice sort of papery band, but there's a channel there that your thumbnail just sort of slides into. It's a rubbery band, but it cuts like paper. Sort of be best of both worlds there. Now, this is very strong. That's the other thing before I get into this, and I, I may be delaying a little bit. Um, it is mint, I believe, a peppermint. But it is about, and now I'm going off some old numbers, but it's about 24 milligrams per gram. 24 milligrams of nicotine per gram. Uh, in relation to an American dip pouch, most of them are between 13 and 15 milligrams per gram. This is 24. As of 2015, this was the second strongest snooze product on the market. The red version of Siberia was the strongest because it comes in at either 42 milligrams or 46, I'm not sure which. But the person that asked me about this said the blue, number one. And number two, if it is 46 milligrams for the red, that's like a hair off of nicotine overdose. I, I don't see how anybody's doing that. Uh, they are, obviously. The stuff sells. But, I mean, I think you take an overdose on nicotine at, like, 55 milligrams or 56. It's very close. So, let me pop this open, and we'll check it out. Okay, now. Wow. That is a sharp... It's a sharp peppermint. Almost affects the eyes. These are white portions not white dry they're not original portions and they're not white dry portions they're not wet they're not dry they are moist in the pouch but the pouch itself has not gotten to a point of being stained okay now these are pretty compacted so i'm going to fluff it up a little bit Now, because this is a drier product that I'm used to, I am going to hit the pause button for the sake of letting it sit. All right. I'm also going to take a count of the can. I will be back in a moment. And I am back. Okay. Well, this will wake you up in the morning. Let me, let me just tell you, I got this thing all the way back now because of the flat out burn. And I'm not even talking 
from any mint reaction. It's just nicotine, I'm guessing. Um, I also feel hyper alert. So I don't know how long I'm actually going to keep this in because this may prove a little bit just too much. Um, I don't really need, need a spit either. It's good. It would be good right off the bat in the morning. If, you, if you're somebody that's... It's tough getting you going in the morning. This would get you going. I, I can't even imagine the red version. I, I, I don't know if I want to imagine the red version. But I have a feeling that if I did do the red version that... Well, I guess that pause was a few minutes... I'd probably be taking it out right about now because I can't imagine doubling this or almost doubling it. Flavor-wise, it's taken a little while to get going because the pouch material is, for the most part, dry. But it, it's good. It, it's a very it's a very pronounced peppermint. Very sharp. Um, there's nothing really bad about the product but it might be a little bit too much nicotine in one shot for me. I never thought that I would say that, but, you know, I, I, I may not let this sit out a full, like, 20 minutes or so. Flavor-wise is good. The packaging's good. I will leave in the comments section whether this is from Sweden or Denmark. I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. I knew it was GN Tobacco, but... It's occurred to me afterwards. Uh, GN, their big product line is um, Odin's, which makes a number of, uh, I think they're extra strong products themselves. Um, but it, I, I'll leave in the comments section, or I'll leave in the um, description where, where this is out of. It's just really strong. It's really strong. Uh, it's so strong that during the break, I started getting the feeling that I could feel my teeth, my molars. Not like the exposed part. Like I could feel the roots. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Uh, it's Actually, that's a little scary, but uh, it, that's basically what the sensation was. Um, all in all, I don't, I don't see me needing i'm a little bit tough getting up partly because it's you know i'm recording videos at two o'clock in the morning but uh, this might be a little bit too much for my liking this is not a uh i need a lot of nicotine in a day but i think this might be too much at one shot i i'm not finding this re like relaxing at all it's sort of a, okay, what are we doing, type deal. You know what I mean? Um, Flavor-wise, it's all right. The burn is starting to subside now. Mind you, I have it all the way back, though. I mean, it's, it's on my back molar, above my back molar. Um, the packaging's good. You know, the, the, with something like this that you don't have to spit, it is actually good having these catch lids. I mean, that is... I don't know about Timberwolf putting them on the can, like Swedish Match having that on dip lids, because you're st still having to spit. But with this, basically, you got a trash can with you now, built in. Um, European Snus is all plastic. Uh, they, they don't do metal lids. That's not a thing. Okay, so, I mean, the fact that this is a plastic lid is really irrelevant to, you know, the product. Packaging it look is pretty cool. I, I sort of dig it. Lord knows I stand in opposition to communism at every single chance I get. But, uh, you know, the, the Soviet-esque feel to it is sort of cool now that we've fully beaten them. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, uh, Ice Cold Power, I'm not quite sure about that name. Uh, it, it, they might much better if they just had blue up there and the screaming bear it's not like screaming like a roar it's sort of like screaming in pain I, I don't know about that part the back I'd love to be able to read in full but 
you know. So this has been the review of, in my mind, a standalone product, Siberia Blue, or AKA Ice Cold Power. It is a white portion snooze. There are, by the way, 15 pouches in a can, but that's 15 servings because you definitely only need one of these in your mouth at a time. Um, it's all right. I mean, nothing against it. Uh, I'm glad I tried it. Uh, not for me. But if you're somebody that really needs a every once in a while, it, it might be for you. Uh, I would seriously, if buying Siberia, use caution though, if you're buying the red version, which I probably will not be reviewing, so please no one ask. But uh, this stuff, yeah, it's all right. I mean, it serves a purpose. It's just I don't have a personal purpose for this. But, you know, now that the burn, it, it does have a burn, guys. There is a definite burn. All right. I, I, I couldn't imagine holding this up front, up top. Um, but the flavor, flavor is all right. After that burn subsides, you can actually enjoy the flavor. So I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. All right. Check out Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, and Wayside Lee 83. I will be back tomorrow to continue with the Pouches Premium Series. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.